Hey there, I'm Lisa Doyle with J. Rockliffe Realtors. I hope that you're doing well, staying well. Um, so here we are, November 12th, 2020, and we just got word that Proposition 19 has passed. Um, I've been waiting to give the official announcement. We just heard last night that it did pass. So I want to explain to you what Proposition 19 is and how it could be a benefit to either you or your family. So one of the things that our clients struggle with, uh, we work with a lot of older families in the area, so let's say you've been in your home for 40 years and maybe you paid obviously a significantly lower price range when you bought your home. So let's say you paid 200000 for a property that's now worth 1.5. A lot of seniors in our market are basically trapped in their homes because in order for them to move on to something else, um, they would basically end up increasing their property taxes. So let me share with you what I mean. So for example, let's say you live in our East Bay, you live in San Ramon, and you're going to be selling a home that you bought years ago and your family, your children, your grandchildren, maybe they're down in Southern California, and you want to move to be closer to them in order to be with your family. Well, a lot of seniors in the past have been trapped because basically they couldn't afford to sell their current home, buy a property in Southern California, and pay the extra tax that they would be forced to pay. So like for instance, California has allowed us to do what's called Proposition 90 for years, which meant there's only nine counties that you could take your tax base with you, which means that house that you paid 200000 for one time they would let you move on to another area, a specific county, take that lower tax base with you and buy another house. Because a lot of seniors, your home might have a wonderful equity, but you couldn't even afford to pay the taxes on the next home you'd buy. So Proposition 19 solves that problem and it has passed. So here's what Proposition 19 allows you to do. And I've got up here, Prop 19, what does it mean? So basically anyone who's over 55 can take that lower tax base with them up to three times anywhere in, in our state, which means let's say you paid 200000 let's back to that example, you're selling your home for $1.5 million and you want to move down to Southern California to a house that might be worth a million dollars. Well, most seniors couldn't afford to pay, you know, five times the amount of taxes, so they, they stay and they're stuck. Now you can move. It allows you to do it up to three times, actually, which is a wonderful benefit. Two years ago when we did our midterm elections, there was a proposition on our ballot called Prop 5. It did not pass at that time. It actually was more limited to this. So this has broadened the, the advantages a little bit. Number two, you know, you're able to um, actually buy a house that may be higher than you're currently selling. So let's, let's say, for instance, um, you own a house. Again, you're back to this example of your house is selling for $1.5 million. Let's say you're moving into an area where property values are, are higher. Back in the, you know, the way that the Proposition 5 was laid out is you had to buy at your the sales price or lower. Well, what the, what the counties have now asked or allowed you to do, Prop 19 allows you to do, is let's say you sell a home for a million dollars and where you're moving to, those, those house, the same house in order to downsize is 1.2. You could actually do the transfer, pay the lower taxes on the first million, and then on the, the extra 200000 you'll pay that just additional small amount of tax. So there's benefits to Proposition 19. One of the questions that I've had from many of my clients is there is a, there is a bit of a negative to Prop 19 too and I wanted to explain. So the last part is when a child inherits a home, what used to happen is the child could inherit the, the previous, you know, their parents, basically their tax base. So what that would mean is let's say your parents bought a house for, again, back to the 200,000 example 30 years ago and you inherit this house. What they used to allow you to do, you could keep it, you could rent it out, you could live in it, you could do whatever you want, and you've got to retain that lower tax. The only negative to Proposition 19 is it actually makes you um, recapture the higher tax rate unless you want to live in it as your primary residence. So if you want to move into the house within the first year, you could then keep the tax base um, and you know pay the lower tax base that your parents paid. If you keep it as a rental, they are going to um, require that you pay the higher tax. So that is one negative to Proposition 19. The only thing I have to share with you, what we've been told when we questioned this last element, is that they were planning to remove that from our um, tax bill anyway. What that, that was on the, the cutting block, so to speak, um, as far as what was going to change anyway. So fortunately now they're giving us a year where it won't take place until a year where a family, if you did inherit a home, and you are currently paying a lower tax and it is not your primary residence, they are going to reassess your tax base. So hopefully this makes sense. Again, Proposition 19 will be there to help a lot of people in this area. You know, gosh, I know a handful of, if not maybe 10 or 15 families that have been waiting to decide, can they go and downsize next to their children? 
and now this gives you some options. You know, if you guys have questions, I'm always, always here to help. My name again is Lisa Doyle. I work with J. Rockliffe Realtors, and I hope that you stay well. See you soon. <laughs> Take care.